Message from St. Michael the Archangel. July 3, 2019. People of God. Adoring God 1 and 3, say together with me, who is like God? Participate in the greatness of being children of God and unite in divine love, so that the confusion that is separating humanity does not take you unaware. Children of God, humanity is suffering from great coldness, coldness due to the lack of love that reigns among the children of God who do not know love, and faced with this, creation perceives this scarcity and says to man, react, as without divine love, hearts on the physical and spiritual senses atrophy. Do you aspire to attaining spiritual goods and to raising yourselves up? Be divine love and obtain peace. Our King and Lord Jesus Christ does not want you to drink the bitter cup of confusion that causes you to suffer, so he has sent me to continually ignite the flame of divine love in every human creature who requests it, faced with the dark thoughts in which a great number of men are living, increasing envy, impatience, imprudence and lack of love, that are transferred into the spiritual senses, resulting humanity's lack of spiritual growth, and this this is precisely what the devil needs in order to trap the greatest number of souls. I call you to pray in season and out of season 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17, so that worldliness does not consume you, therefore preach, proclaim the divine word in order that neither you nor your brothers and sisters get lost. Do not deny the calls of our King and Lord Jesus Christ or those of our and your Blessed Mother. Be creatures who intercede for your brothers and sisters 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 2 for the good of all mankind facing the great changes occurring throughout the earth. The transformation in man's thought has reached his heart and therefore his work and action, hardening or softening you, each person chooses what they want to have, blessing or destruction Deuteronomy chapter 30 verses 15 to 19. Blessing stands before humanity in a special form, in order that the greatest number of human creatures might be saved. Look up, people of God, do not walk in vain, but rather towards spiritual growth or towards spiritual decline, you decide towards which with your free will. Every nation will be purified, some more than others, for which it is the divine desire that help among God's people grows between brothers and sisters and thus you give testimony of the divine love with which you live. You are in the instant of pain in the face of human disobedience and the welcome humanity has offered to the devil, with his vices and perversions. Pray, children of God, pray for humanity so that it does not be immersed in the vices of evil. Great errors are spreading out over the people of God, with the aim that the people of God do not obey our and your King and Lord Jesus Christ, leading you away from what is good, and so that you come to be persecuted, stripped of all goods, wandering and scourged by those who have united with evil. Pray children of God, pray, humanity suffers the unthinkable. Pray, the earth shakes forcefully. Humanity does not manage to understand that it is on its way to great and terrible calamities caused by disobedience to the Most Holy Trinity and by disrespect towards our and your Queen and Mother. Pray children of God, see water polluted by man as the cause of serious diseases in man. You find yourselves before the Divine Spirit who leads you to scale the spiritual heights and therefore to be bearers of faith, knowledge, fortitude, hope and readiness to work and act in the depths of divine greatness, that you will only find if you are true creatures who keep aspiring to the Divine. Do not falter, however fierce the trials may be, continue without faltering, as truth is of God and only He knows the depths of the human heart 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verses 10 to 11. Be faithful and strive for the unity of the children of God. What is to come is not easy to live for man and you need to protect one another. 
In the instant of great events, the help of some towards others is what will lead you to continue with faith protecting the people of God. Saint Michael the Archangel. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Commentary by Luz de Maria. Brothers and Sisters. Saint Michael the Archangel, defender of God's people, sets out in great detail the path to be followed by those who, as children of God, wish to save the soul. He begins this call with the description of the condition for continuing on the way towards Christ, divine love, traced in the human creature with hammer and chisel, or with a brush and a soft feather. Divine love, that which man cannot describe, but which can indeed be perceived and made to be perceived by our brothers and sisters. Faced with what we as humanity are beginning, severe events of all kinds in the world, let us cry out, Saint Michael, defend us with your sword, illuminate us with your light, protect us with your wings. Amen.